Hello everyone and welcome to the Mylea Photos Coffee Break. My name is Angela Andrew and today we're going to be talking about different ways that you can add media to your Mylea Photos library. We're going to be comparing the link, copy, and move options and talking a little bit about the pros and cons of each of them so you can better determine which one best fits your purpose. Uh, today we are joined with uh, by Lori Rubin. She's also a product evangelist for Mylea and our main job is to help you guys be successful with the software and we are very readily available to answer a lot of your questions. Lori leads our Ready, Set, Go groups, which is designed for new users. And I take charge of our open Q&As that we have on Tuesday and Thursdays. I teach these classes. She and I both are very frequently available in our community. So you're always welcome to interact with us there, send us questions, and we'll do our best to get those answered in between the other sessions. For now, let's go ahead and jump into today's presentation. And we'll have time for open Q&A after things get going. So let's go ahead and jump into link, copy, or move. This is something we get asked quite often, and because it's the most three most common ways to get stuff into Mylio, which one's best, what should you use, and it really depends on your purpose and what you want to accomplish with Mylio. So we're going to talk through some of these situations. The first thing to know is that every folder in Mylio is a linked folder. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to go over some of the folders that Mylio Photos creates, and then I'll walk you through each of the steps for linking, copying, and moving, and we'll talk about those throughout the program. So when we say every folder in Mylio is a linked folder, that means that it's a direct link to the folder in your file system. The, the pictures and videos and such that you bring into Mylio, they live in those folders. They don't live inside the Mylio app. So when you add media to Mylio, it's still living on your devices. Mylio is just watching it and monitoring those folders for changes. So this brings us to two of the folders that you're typically going to see when you first get started with Mylio. And that's the Mylio inbox and the Mylio pictures folder. So let me go ahead and jump over here into Mylio. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So right now I am in a brand new account and I don't have any media here. And this is what we're going to start with today because I think it's the cleanest and easiest way to kind of understand what's going on with these different processes. So I'm going to switch over here to our folders view. And you'll see that I have two folders here. When you first install Mylio Photos, these two folders are automatically created before you bring in any media. The inbox is here, and it's also a shortcut in the favorite section of either uh, Apple Finder or Windows Explorer. And it's a quick way to drag and drop in individual images. Your Mylio Pictures folder is the default location for anything that you copy or move. Both of these folders exist on your hard drive. So if I go ahead and take this folder here, I'm going to right click on my Mylio Pictures and say Reveal in Finder. Here is my Mylio folder and here is this folder right here. Any pictures that I put into this folder here are going to appear in Mylio. So Mylio is always watching the Mylio inbox, which is also a shortcut over here on the left. And it's always watching Mylio pictures. So these folders are both created by Mylio and then Mylio links to them and watches where they live on the hard drive. So those are two things that you probably have seen. Whether or not you use these two folders is up to you. Um, I love the Mylio inbox and I talk about that a lot. I don't recommend getting rid of this one. The Mylio pictures, if you have your own hierarchy of images and you don't want to use this folder, you can delete this. So you can go ahead and right click on this and either choose remove or delete while it's empty. Not going to hurt anything. But it is a folder that Mylio creates and it gives you a destination to put things into if you want to consolidate your library. So let's go ahead and talk about linking a folder. And this is where we're going to discuss linking a new folder. So this is adding a folder to Mylio that Mylio is not currently watching. We want to tell it to watch a new location. And this is best for really if you want to have a low commitment experience with Mylio. So if you're just kind of testing the waters, you don't want to move anything around on your computer just yet, linking is a good way to do that because it leaves things where they're located and tells Mylio to watch that new location. It's also really great for people who are, say, a Lightroom Classic user or using some other um, image management that might be watching the same set of folders. If you move those from where they are currently located, it breaks the link with those other applications. So if you want to leave them where they're located so multiple programs can access them, using link is a great way to do that. It's also an excellent idea if you already have a fairly organized system and you want to leave things the way they are. You don't want to move them around at all. So 
That's why I would choose to link a folder over the other options. So let's go ahead and jump back into Mylio and link a new folder. So I'm gonna go up here to the Add Media and choose Add Media Accessible from this device. And I'm gonna go down here to an external drive that I have connected. And I wanna add this family history folder. Now, I have a couple of different Mylio accounts and my other account is also referencing this folder, so I don't wanna move it. I wanna leave it where it's at because I have other things that reference it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that family history folder, choose open, and I'm gonna choose link them. This leaves them where it leaves the folder where it is located, but it shows it in Mylio and it tells Mylio, hey, watch this location for any changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and say link, it gives me the path for that folder and I can say link now. And that's gonna go ahead and add that to my Mylio library. You can see it's coming in from that vault drive and here's the folder. It's coming in and Mylio is doing its ingest. Now, a couple of things to note when you're bringing in new media into Mylio, Mylio is doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So if I go up here to my activities, you'll notice that, well, it's not showing anything. It actually came in pretty quickly. There it goes, it's scanning it. Um, while this is also happening, it's doing its scan for AI smart tags. It's doing its optical character recognition. It's looking for recognizable faces. So if you're bringing in a large amount of information, this was only was a pretty limited folder, so there's not that much there. If it was a much larger folder, then that can take a fair bit of time. The reason we front load that process is because later on, when you're interacting with things that are already in Mylio, it is blazing fast because those processes are already done, but it does mean it takes a little bit more time up front. So that's linking a folder, very straightforward. This folder is still exactly where it was on my hard drive. It's just telling Mylio to watch it at that location. All right, let's go ahead and move on and talk about copying a folder. Now what this does is it actually physically makes a copy of what's in a folder and tells Mylio to put it in typically your Mylio pictures folder. You can put it into another folder. Since this family history folder is already known by Mylio, I could put things into that folder. Any folder that Mylio already knows about, you can copy media from another location. This is a really good scenario for anyone who's trying to consolidate things. So if you have media in a lot of different places, let's say you're coming into Mylio, you have things on several external hard drives, maybe even some thumb drives, you've got um, stuff on your computer, maybe even on a spouse's computer, and you're trying to get everything all into one place. The Mylio Pictures folder is a great destination for that and using the copy option is perfect. Another benefit of this is it does create kind of an on-the-fly backup because most of these other things that we're gathering and consolidating, that's probably the only copy you have of those things. And as you bring them into Mylio, it's not moving them from where they currently exist. It's just making a copy and putting them into the Mylio Pictures folder. So in a sense, you're creating another version. So if one of those other older hard drives tends, you know, they sometimes break, sometimes they, um, they fail, you have now another version of that image. Um, this is also kind of a low commitment way to get things into Mylio because you still have things where they originally were. If you decide you don't want to use Mylio, you know everything you put in is a copy. So that's another good reason. But consolidation is the main reason you want to do this. And I like it because it doesn't delete the original version where it lives. And that, you know, off the fly gives you another version. So let's go ahead and walk through a copy import. So I'm going to go up here again to the Add Media, and we're going to go down here to Add Media Accessible from this device. And in this case, I'm going to go to the Pictures folder, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the wedding pictures. This is a folder of pictures that I scanned of my parents' wedding, and I'm going to go ahead and copy this into Mylio. What that's going to do is this folder is still going to exist inside my Pictures folder. It's also going to make a copy into the place that I choose in Mylio. So I'm going to go ahead and say Open and choose copy. Now it tells you where come, the pictures are coming from. This also lets you choose where they're going to because what we're doing is copying them from this location to this location. You can also go in here and choose a subfolder if you want. So you can create a new folder, create subfolders, however you wanna do that. In this case, I'm just gonna choose the top level Mylio Pictures folder. And then one of the things that I really like about choosing the copy option is you have some other options that you don't have when you're linking. The first one here is to exclude suspected duplicates. If you're consolidating a lot of media from different sources, chances are you do have some duplicates scattered in there. 
this lets you clean them up. So it's only going to import something once. And if it finds that same file in another folder from a different device, it's not going to import it. So this helps you just as you're getting started, clean things up. You also have the option here to delete files after adding them. This is essentially a move. Um, so you're, this is a, you know, this is basically what we're going to talk about next. Leave this alone. I also encourage you to open up the advanced settings here. And this is where you can adjust file names. If you want to rename your files to something that's more descriptive, you can do that. If you want to reorganize things, if you're just bringing in a big old block of images and you want to get them into a better folder system, you can choose folder organization here and get them put into a better hierarchy. And you can also add keywords here. So this is going to add to everything I'm bringing in and I'm just going to put in wedding. And we can go ahead and then click copy now. What that's going to do is it's going to pop it here into my Mylio pictures. So we're going to go ahead and give it a second here, let it think. And if we go up here to the activities, you can see that it's importing and it's going to be bringing in all of those pictures from that folder and copying, make a copy here inside of my Mylio pictures. So now we go ahead and close activities, open up my Mylio pictures, and here's that folder that I just added. So this is a really great way, like I said, to get everything into one place. This folder here, this Mylio pictures folder still exists on my computer. It's just making a copy from where they originally lived and placing that copy into my Mylio pictures. And as you do that with more and more things, that gets everything all into one place. So you're getting more organized as you do it. It just is a great way to get all of those different sources and consolidate them together. So let's go ahead and move on to talking about moving a folder. And this is very similar to copy. The only difference is you're going to be that little toggle that I showed you to leave alone. What that does is after it copies them over, it deletes those originals. Um, there are some good reasons you might want to do this and we have the option available to you, but this is not one that I typically recommend. And that's because it is deleted from that original location after the copy is complete. So if you only have one version of that media, let's say you have an external hard drive here that you are adding to Mylio, that is the only place where those pictures live and you're getting them moved over to another drive, maybe your computer, maybe another brand new external hard drive. Again, if you do a move, it's going to delete them from this first one and you're only going to have one copy. So unless you have set up at least two vaults, I would recommend using the copy instead of a move. It is your choice. It's just a little bit riskier process because if you only have one copy of your images, you're not protected. And you know, we're really big about protecting your memories here. So that is kind of the pros and cons of moving a folder, but you have pretty much the exact same options otherwise as copy. So let's go ahead and do a quick move and I'll show you what that looks like. So again, I'm going to go up here to the plus, add media accessible from this device, and I'm going to grab these pictures that my mom sent me. And I just want to grab these photos and I want to move them into this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the folder, do open, and in this case we're going to choose move. So here we have the Mylio pictures. I'm going to go ahead and inside this, I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder and just say family scans. We're going to go ahead and say create. Go ahead and select that folder. And we can again go down here to show advanced settings. And let's go ahead and add a folder organization here. And I'm going to go ahead and just choose year. And um, I don't know exactly, I don't remember all what all is in this folder. I know it's a big range of things. So there's not any keywords that would really apply to the whole batch. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank. So I've gone ahead and I'm going to leave my file names the same, but I'm going to organize them into years. And this is a move. Like I said, it's going to take them from where they currently live, pick them up and drop them into another location. So we're going to go ahead and say move now and let that go ahead and run. So again, we're going to see here in a moment, this is going to go see so created some new folders. We now have, there's our family scans. And we've got a couple of different folders here. So I scanned these in 2022. Some of them have added dates to, so that's why we now have two folders that are with those particular years. So if things have correct metadata, this is a great way to go ahead and get them to easily go into a nice folder hierarchy. And if we go back into my finder and take a look at my pictures folder, and that was this photos from mom, you'll see here this folder is now changing and as it's 
importing things into Mylio, it's deleting them from this folder because they're now going to be inside that Mylio pictures folder. So that's something you want to consider. It's a different way of doing things. It's not a bad way, but it is slightly riskier. The other thing that I would like to add as kind of a word of caution here is when you're doing this, if you're doing especially a copy or a move, do not shut down your computer. Do not quit Mylio. Let it run until that process is finished. And that's because you're interrupting an import process if you do that, and it can cause those files to become corrupted. So just let it run, let it do its thing, give it some time, especially if it's a large amount of information, and you're gonna have a much better experience. Uh, with that, I wanna wish you a wonderful weekend, and I hope you get out there and take some photos, make some memories, and we'll see you next time.